Good morning, you beautiful people, and welcome to me and my little chat. My name is Alastair Hilton, and I am a photographer who lives in a narrow, lives on a narrow boat in London. Um, off to a good start already. So today I am going to talk about solar energy, solar panels, because I read so much about uh, what people say about it that's nonsense most people don't understand them so here is going to be the science it's like uh, it's like Jennifer Aniston when she talked about shampoo and the science of shampoo it's me talking about solar panels so on my boat if you're gonna live on a boat I would recommend that you have solar panels in fact if you live in a house I would recommend that you have solar panels I was speaking to somebody the other day and um, they were telling me how much they spend on electricity for their house. And it's an unbelievable amount of money. Unbelievable. But why would you? Why would you spend all that money giving it to an electricity company when the sun is free? Yes, you have to buy the stuff to start with. Um, but I think the main reason that people don't do it is they don't understand it, and, and that's fair enough. I had absolutely no idea about it when I moved on this boat, but I have not plugged in to electricity in my home, i.e. my boat, for over six years now. So this is what how it all works. Uh, I've got two solar panels on my roof. You can have, the more you have, then the more um, electricity you generate. But I've got two solar panels on my roof then cables that come along from there to um, a controller that just regulates how much um, power goes into my batteries. I've then got four leisure batteries. Now, they look like car batteries. There's all sorts of batteries that you can have, but I happen to have uh, lead acid, the old fashioned ones and the cheaper ones. Um, I've got four of those. So the sun shines, goes on the solar panels, all those little electricities go down the cable into my batteries and my batteries top up. When I want to use electricity, uh, batteries are DC power. There's AC and there's DC. There's a band um, like that. Anyway, AC and DC and DC power is the sort you get from batteries. So when I want to plug in my iPhone though, I need AC power really. Uh, or if I want to plug in any normal household electrical things I need AC power so what you have is something called an inverter uh, mine is a four kilowatt inverter you can have one kilowatt two kilo any size you like so mine's a four because that can handle pretty much everything so I have to switch on the inverter and then I've got plug sockets normal plug sockets like you've got in your house and Hey presto, the DC from the batteries is converted into AC power and I have normal 240 volt electricity, just like you've got in a house. The difference being that mine is free, absolutely free, once you've bought the solar panels, the controller, the inverter and the batteries. But so many people I hear go, oh, well, when the sun's not shining, you don't get any power true if you had no batteries if you have no storage yes you you could only use it when the sun shine on your solar panels but that's not how it works okay you have battery storage different sorts of batteries but you have battery storage so in the middle of the night i have electricity in the daytime i have electricity when it's a cloudy day i have electricity when it's raining which is most of the time i have electricity and it's to do with having a storage system. I've seen them for houses. Tesla, for instance, do a beautiful, this is how sad my life is, a beautiful battery, wall-mounted battery system for homes. So you could have solar panels on your roof going into a, 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 a very slim, elegant uh, battery storage. All the power you could ever want in your house. Put your washing machine, anything and it's free okay so why why you would choose to give an electricity company a lot of money is a complete mystery to me um so 
two solar panels I've got, a four kilowatt inverter, which swaps it from the DC to the AC, four leisure batteries that store the power. The more items, when you're in a house, what happens is you don't actually notice what electricity you're using. You can flick everything on in your house, put it all on at once, and you'll never run out of electricity. You might run out of money. <laughs> Uh, to pay for that electricity, but you won't run out of electricity. When you're on a boat and you are using solar panels and you are aware that, yeah, if I was to put everything on all at once, all day long in the winter, I'd run out. But you're then more conscious and surely that's a good thing to just be more conscious of what you're using. But it's completely green energy. Um, you can get better batteries than the lead acid, but you would pay more. My system, I think, uh, fitted, cost about five grand. Now, uh, the materials, the parts, are probably only half that. On a house, I think you're probably looking at about 10 grand or so. But with the prices that there are at the moment, I would think you'd get that back very, very quickly. And, and a system will probably last you 10 years, 15 years or whatever. And then you'll have to replace the batteries probably because uh, it'd be like your phone battery. It'd take forever to recharge. But there you go. So there's Alistair's top tip on uh, and an education on solar panels and how to get free electricity. So... Hope it has helped. Hope it's answered some questions that I do get about um, solar panels. And um, let me know if you need anything else. And I might even reply. <laughs> Who knows? But thank you so much for watching. Um, it's been amazing that people actually did watch my last video. So uh, thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye bye.